sandwich. We are delighted to have you here at our program this week. It's really nice to be able to spend a couple of minutes with you this afternoon to talk about the Serbian Film Festival in Australia. When did you first organise your first ever film festival? So I have been working with the Serbian Film Festival in Australia since 2007, quite some years ago, but certainly it's been an enjoyable experience over the last nearly 15 years. Who is helping you organise this wonderful event? There is a large team of people across Australia as well as in Serbia that participate in this. I really don't have to do that much as the Vice President of the Film Festival. There is a large team that work with me and uh, thankfully all of their efforts are what you see around uh, here today. How long did this take to plan? Generally it takes nearly 12 months to plan a film festival. The reason is firstly we have to talk to all the film producers to work out what movies are in production, ready to be released. Then our uh, film critics in Serbia will actually watch the movies. Then they'll get feedback and work out the commercial arrangements because we are a non-for-profit organisation to then bring those films out to Australia. So generally each year, literally as the last film festival finishes, we're starting next year's event planning. What is the main goal of this festival? Look, it's most important to link uh, diaspora living in Australia as well as born here Serbs to the culture and the film productions in Serbia to keep the language going. So that really is the main thing, to give people a connection that have left many years ago and those that are born here to what is film production in Serbia and, and, and movies that are there. That's the main reason. Who is the target audience of this festival? Very good question. Obviously all people that are speaking former Yugoslavian languages, Serbs, Croatians, Bosnians, Macedonians, Cernogorats, all of those residents and obviously any people that are interested in foreign films and there are plenty of people that are uh, born overseas uh, in Eastern Europe that would find these movies of interest. So anyone that is interested in foreign films and foreign culture, we are targeting. What is the selection process for choosing films? Wow, very interesting question. So, again, there is a, a, a plethora of movies that we look at every year. Our film critics in Serbia sit and work at what is most appropriate for the viewers in Australia. We had to consider this year that the film festival is held during Lent. So we wanted to get movies that were sensitive and respectful um, for this time of Lent. This Serbian film festival was postponed due to COVID two years ago. Yep. Now, did that affect target like ticket sales this year? Look, so far so good. The opening night is tonight and we have had a complete sale, totally full cinema. So I certainly hope, you know, that the, 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 the movie will start very soon, that uh, we will have great success during the next two weeks of the film festival in Australia. Who is funding this festival? It's non-for-profit. Uh, it's funded by a number of sponsors and we have a number of large sponsors that are funding it, but it's certainly non-for-profit. So we don't run it for profit. I and others are financially contributing to make sure this event is a success. With our sponsors and our partners, Hoyt Cinemas, we are lucky and blessed and able to run this event. Which film is your favourite? Honestly, you'll have to ask me that at the end of the festival, because I haven't seen them yet. Do they have subtitles, if you know? Yes, they do. All of them are in subtitles. Any children films for the future? I don't know yet. We do have documentaries that are, are, let's say, somewhat appropriate to children. And there is obviously a religious orthodox film that is showing this year, which is somewhat children appropriate. But not all the movies in other years, and I can't guarantee for next year. But this year, most of the movies are respectful and are within the age category. Are there any future plans for growing and expanding this festival? God knows what will be in the future. We always touch wood, Akubogda, by the grace of God, what will be, will be. So, look, you know, as long as viewers keep coming, we're not doing this for profit. So, as long as the numbers keep coming and the numbers are attending every year, we have a reasonable success, we will keep this film festival going. As I'm told, that uh, this is one of the longest continuous going festivals in Australia from a foreign film festival and it's it's in the top 10 of the longest lasting being our 20th year uh, in the world. A lot of film festivals have started and then have lasted for a couple of years and then they discontinue so let's hope that we can go for another five or ten years.
I don't hope that I'm running it in five or ten years' time, but certainly we hope that we'll be going in five or ten years' time. You're welcome to join the team in a couple of years and you can help contribute as a volunteer. We welcome you on the committee. Thank you, John. It has been a pleasure to interview you today. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure to spend time with you today. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have Look a very good day. You. you too. Bye-bye. Good evening, Your Excellency, very reverend fathers, distinguished guests, dear sponsors and festival friends. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening of the 20th Annual Serbian Film Festival. Vaša Excellencijo, visoko prečasni i časni oci, uvaženi gosti, poštovani pokrovitelji Srpskog filmskog festivala, dame i gospodo, dobroveče. Dobrodošli na otvaranje od 20. jubilarnog festivala Srpskog filma u Australiji. Let us begin by acknowledging that we are here today on the traditional land of the Aboriginal people. We would like to pay our respects to the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation as the traditional custodians of this land. We would also like to pay our respects to the Elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples who are present here today. I will be your MC this evening. My name is Councillor Mihailo Mijatovic. I'm a councillor on Fairfield City Council and director of the Serbian Festival Sydney, which is held in Darling Harbour. My lovely co-host this evening is Anika Popovic, who has graciously agreed to provide the Serbian translation. To begin this evening's program, I would like to welcome the vocal ethno group Lazarikon, who will sing for us a timeless and traditional Serbian song, Grow, Grow, My Green Pine Tree, Rasti Rasti Moj Zeleni Bore. Please join me in welcoming Dragana, Dragana Milanovic, Anika Popovic and Biljana Mitrovic.
for that beautiful performance. This year's festival is dedicated to the late Petar Kozlina OAM, our longtime director and patron. Petar put his heart and soul into the festival and he would be so proud to see how it is continuing to thrive and grow. In its 20th year, the Serbian Film Festival has become an iconic national event touring all major Australian cities, including Sydney, Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth. This year, the festival has brought five contemporary films from the latest, latest Serbian production to Australia, adding to well over 120 Serbian feature and documentary films screened throughout the past 19 years across the country. Continuing connecting the Serbian community in Australia to the language and cultural production of their homeland, the Serbian Film Festival has only grown in popularity, prestige and significance, attracting audiences across the country. Maintaining this connection is vital to the survival of the Serbian language and culture in Australia, especially among the new generations who are now born here. For further information regarding film titles, trailers, as well as ticket purchasing options, please visit the Serbian Film Festival website at www.serbianfilmfestival.com.au. Ovogodišnji festival posvećen je preminulom Petru Kozlini, nosiocu ordena Reda Australije, našem dugogodišnjem direktoru i pokrovitelju. Petar je bio i srcem i dušom posvećen ovom festivalu i danas bi bio ponosan da vidi kako ovaj festival postaje sve popularniji. Za 20 godina upornog zalaganja i rada, nagrada je neizmjerno zadovoljstvo zbog uspješnog osvarenja osnovnog cilja, a to je da se publici u Australiji omogući da pogleda preko 120 filmova iz savremene srpske produkcije, kao i da se upozna sa preko 20 gostiju iz Srbije, glumaca, reditelja i producenta. U svojoj 20. godini postojanja, Srpski filmski festival postao je kulturni i nacionalni događaj koji se održava u svim glavnim gradovima širom Australije, Sidneju, Kamberi, Brisbaneu, Melbourneu, Adelaidu i Pertu. Now the director of the Serbian Film Festival, Mrs. Milica Kozlina, would like to say a few words. Please welcome her. Thank you, Madonna. Thank you, Anika. First of all, I'd just like to thank also the Nazari uh, Kondragana and uh, Diana who performed. Your Excellency, very reverend fathers, valued sponsors, dear family and friends. I'm addressing you like this tonight because, as you have just heard, this festival this year has been dedicated to my late husband, Vera Kozel. Leading this for the 17 years of his life, he has put his soul and his heart to his community, to his church, serving it very truly, with no, no interest, and he always dedicated his time to all of you. And I think tonight, from what I've seen here, the audience, each and everyone probably have known him and have shaped some of your lives, and he has touched yours. For this reason tonight, I'm not going to say much. I'm really going to say that I have not taken the lightly the decision to continue in his place because I can never replace him. But I have tried my best to continue with this event because this is what we should be doing. This is not about us. This is not about our titles. It's really what we leave. The legacy that he left would be really a shame to stop. And I hope that I, in a couple of years' time, We'll actually hand it over to our younger people because they're very capable, as you can see, they're really bright and very educated. So I think this should continue. Now, here tonight, I'm going to start thanking our really valued sponsors. Some of them have been with us from the day one, and they are Bell Group, Vasa Despotovic, uh, Vesti, Srpski Glass. We've got new TD uh, Migration uh, Consulting. Uh, Soul Law, we've got uh, Miss TV, all those lovely people that are, you know, filming tonight and taking photos. So invaluable is what we get. And as we are for non-for-profit organization, we really do rely on those people supporting us. 
you can become a festival friend. Everything that we have regarding this festival is on our website and you can find a lot of information there. To say the least, I have to say that tonight I am especially grateful and thankful to our new ambassador of the Republic of Serbia, Mr. Radi Stefanovic. Um, you have given us the support like we've never really known and for that I'm really grateful and we're all grateful and hope we will grow together with you and that this festival is just going to be a lot more recognized in our community. Um, one of the very important things that I should say about this festival, we are the, on, the longest festival outside Serbia. So that's something to say, that what we've done, we have really survived and, and we, we, will, we will keep going. So with that said, my dear friends and family, as I really consider each and every one of you, sit back and enjoy what we have brought this year. You have heard the films, all really we want from you and all we expect for this festival to go on, we rely on you, our audience, okay? Because if we brought these films and nobody's watching them, then we have to ask ourselves a question. And we are always welcome to your suggestions, so on the website there's a contact there, feel free to send me a note. Thank you. Pozivam ambasadora Republike Srbije, njegovu ekselenciju gospodina Radita Stefanovića da otvori ovaj 20. festival srpskog filma u Australiji. Vaša ekselencijo. It is our special honor to call upon His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Serbia, Mr. Radita Stefanovic, to open this year's 20th Serbian Film Festival in Australia. Please, uh, please join me in welcoming the Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, Dobroveče. Reverend fathers, ladies and gentlemen, the Draga Vraća i Sestre, it is a real pleasure to address you at the opening night of the 20th Serbian Film Festival in, in uh, Sydney. After three years of absence due to the COVID-19 pandemic and restrictions, the Serbian Film Festival is back again, uh, a part of all of us and part of Australia cultural scene. This traditional event, in scope of its importance and quality, represents one of the most important cultural manifestations for the Republic of Serbia and the Serbian community in Australia. This year's uh, Serbian First Festival also marks its 20th anniversary, a jubilee worth mentioning and uh, every praise. Over the past 19 years, audience throughout US, uh, Australia had the opportunity to watch over 100 Serbian feature and documentary films selected by the Belgrade-based film critic, director and producer, Mr. Nenad Dukic. This year, we also remember Mr. Petar Kozlina, a long-time director of the Serbian Film Festival who passed away in 2020. He was the heart and the soul of the Serbian Film Festival during all those years, and I'm sure that he's also with us now. However, I would also like to commend Mrs. Milica Kozlina, his wife and her team, for tremendous efforts and strength to organize this year's festival, uh, and in that way, in, in my opinion, in the best possible way to continue the PETA's legacy. I'm sure this is just a new beginning for the Serbian Film Festival, a new chapter that we will jointly in the years to come continue to cherish and to contribute to it. I know that I will and the Republic of Serbia will and the diplomatic and consular missions of the Republic of Serbia in Australia will. We will see some of the most popular Serbian actors of the so-called middle generation like Viktor Savic and Sloboda Michalovic but also some of the most famous Serbian actors like Mikina Manojlovic, now late even Bekjarev and Zoran Cvijanovic. I'm sure we will all enjoy. At the end, I would like once again to emphasize the importance of this festival, especially for the Serbian community in Australia. It provides the link to the motherland, to, the, to your ancestry, Serbian's ancestry, to the spirit and the culture of the Serbian, Serbs and all people in Serbia. I do hope we will use this festival to revive those ties as I, uh, and I strongly invite you to see as many movies as possible. I would like to congratulate Serbian Film Festival and to wish many more successful years. Enjoy the film and enjoy the festival. Thank you. Tanja, ovogodišnji festival srpskog filma ovdje u Australiji. Šta ćemo imati priliku da pogledamo? Daliborka ove godine prikazuje se pet filma tokom festivala koji traje od 16. do 26. marta u svim glavnim gradovima Australije. 
Film koji otvara festival je Once Upon a Time in Serbia, bilo jednom u Srbiji. Ostala četiri filma su ključ, nije loše biti čovek, Krst u pustinji i Strahinja Banović. Filmovi su svi na srpskom jeziku, ali svaki film ima engleske titlove. Koju vi zapravo publiku želite da targetujete sa ovim filmovima? Pa pošto prikazujemo filmove različitih žonri, verujemo da različita publika će sebe naći u nekom od filma. Sve su to uglavnom drame, komedije. Ove godine imamo i religiozni film, Krst u pustinji, imamo i thriller, ključ. Tako da verujemo da zaista širokoj publici možemo da predstavimo festival. Znači ovo je 20. jubilarni festival srpskog filma. Ja verujem da Milica Kozlina koja je preuzela ovaj ulogu direktora nakon smrti Petra Kozdine ima za cilj da se festival prikazuje ili održava ne samo na jednom mestu, ne samo u jednom bioskopu, u velikim gradovima kao što je Melbourne, nego da to bude kao ranije možda i na drugoj strani grada, tako da je pristupačnije onima koji žive na drugoj strani grada. Ali definitivno da se festival organizuje na visokom nivou i da je pristupačan ljudima širom Melbourna ili širom bilo kog drugog grada gde postoji naša zajednica. We declare this, the 20th annual Serbian Film Festival open once upon a time in Serbia. Enjoy the festival. Thank you.